here are two awesome and visually satisfying effects that you should have in your personal toolbox right up here. Let's jump on in. For the first effect here, this was inspired from this reel by Analog Mirage, an AI artist. I think this video is absolutely stunning and I think it was 100% generated with AI. And what I really like is the idea of using AI to help us visualize our dreams. So what I have here is the stock footage clip of a person running. And I'm gonna use AI to make it look like he's running on water. And this is why I also downloaded this shot of this ocean clip. Now for this effect to work, you need to make sure that the two shots have a similar perspective because we're going to combine them. So in After Effects, I have both of these clips in the timeline. And technically we don't need to use After Effects because we're just really screen grabbing one frame from each clip here. So you can use any program to take those screen grabs, right? But since we're already here, let's move the playhead to find a frame where the running pose is clear and then go up to the composition drop down menu and save frame as Photoshop layers. Now let's move over to Photoshop and I'm gonna open up the PSD that we just got from After Effects. And here we'll get two layers from each clip that we had in the timeline. With the running photo selected, let's click the remove background button here so we get a layer with just our runner. If you don't see this menu, go up to window and enable the contextual task bar. Then I'll move my runner to a more natural looking spot. And down in the layers tab, let's add a curves effect and apply it to only the runner's layer. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using this effect to lower the reds and basically try to color match our subject to the background. And if you're a Photoshop veteran, feel free to do what you have to do to make sure that these two images match. For now, this works for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this as a JPEG. So now let's head on over to Artlist AI image and video tab. And before we go into image to video, let's click on the new image to image. Now here I can upload the JPEG and write a prompt to replace the sky to something nicer. Cause right now this isn't much of a sky to see. So let's hit generate and here we go. So on our newly generated image, what I can do is click on animate here to immediately jump to the image to video tab with our new image ready to go. And for the prompt, write what you want in detail. I'll also add that I want a bit of handheld camera movement and then let's change the resolution to 1080p and click animate. And after a bit of color grading and sound effects, here's the result. And I also made a version where he's running on clouds instead. I think it's super cool what you can do with your creativity with AI in your toolkit now. And of course you don't have to use stock footage. You can use footage that you shot yourself to, for example, put yourself in the clouds. Before we move on to the next effect, I wanna give a shout out to today's sponsor, Artlist. The text to image, image to image, and image to video tools is just one part of what you get with an Artlist subscription. They have the best stock footage library I've ever seen and fantastic music, sound effects, and video templates. And with their new AI voiceover model, we can generate a variety of character voices in over 21 languages, accents, emotions, and a bunch of different effects. Don't forget your 3 p.m. meeting. Ain't nobody got time for that. Or my favorite tool, their voice to voice feature where you can upload your own audio clip, pick a voice, and then pick an effect and turn yourself into a completely different character. And as I demoed in the first effect, their new image to image generator is game changing because you can take an image that you generated. Let's say you want to swap a color, type in what you want to change, and now you have the new result instantly. So it's really handy. So if you're interested, you can use my affiliate link down below to get two extra months free when you sign up for an annual plan. Thanks so much to Artlist for sponsoring. And now let's get on to the next visually satisfying effect. Next up is the wall opening effect, kind of like what you see in this Harry Potter scene. In After Effects, I have the stock footage clip of a person standing in front of a brick wall and then walking away. So what we can do is make it look like they're walking away because, you know, the wall is opening up. So let's drag our file down into this little icon to create a new composition using the same resolution and frame rate as our clip. The first thing we need to do is motion track this clip. So that way, when we add any other elements, we can have those be tracked to the original movement of the scene. So let's go to the tracker panel. And if you don't see it, go up to the window drop down here 
and enable it. Here, let's click track motion and also tick rotation since my footage also has a little bit of a handheld camera shake. If your footage has the camera moving in closer or pushing back, make sure to also tick scale. In the comp window here, we get two tracking markers. Move them both to two spots with high contrast and ideally spots that don't get covered up throughout the whole video so that way the tracker doesn't get messed up through the tracking process. Now let's hit the analyze forward button to start tracking. And once it's done, let's go down to the timeline, right click and create a null object. This layer will be where we store our tracking data. So let's hit enter to rename the layer. Back at the tracker panel, let's press edit target and let's set it to our null layer. Then let's hit OK and apply. And if we select our null layer now, you can see that it sticks to the wall perfectly. To make the walls open, let's use the help of the image to video AI tools. So right now we have a clean image of the wall without anything in front. Let's move the playhead to a frame where our subject isn't covering up the walls. Then go to the comp drop down menu, save frame as, Photoshop layers. And once you have the PSD file, just like before, open it up in Photoshop. And here we can use the marquee tool to select the poles in front of the wall. And if you're working with more complicated footage here, you might need to use generative fill to help erase stuff from the image. But for me, I'm just going to right click and use content aware fill. And as you can see, the poles are gone. And once we're done, you can save this image as a JPEG file. So to turn this image into an animating video, we're going to use the Artlist image to video gen tool again. So let's click on it. And here we can upload our JPEG that we just made. And for the prompt, I want the brick walls to open up revealing a magical landscape. And at the end, make sure to say that we want the camera to be completely still since we'll add this back on top of the original video later on. And let's change it to 1080p and animate. And after a couple tries, this is the result I liked the most. Let's download it and import it back into After Effects. If you haven't moved the playhead from when we exported that frame to Photoshop, we can just drop in our generation here and the walls will perfectly match up. Let's add a mask around just the part of the wall that opens up. And down in the timeline, we can press F and bump up the feathering here to smooth the edge of the mask. Then we can parent our generated video to the tracking data layer. And if you don't see this option, try pressing F4 on your keyboard. Now let's hit play. And the animation is now stuck to the original footage, thanks to the tracking data. <laughs> Nerd alert. So now all we need to do is bring our subject and the two poles back up front. So select the stock footage layer, press Control or Command D on a Mac to duplicate it twice. And now let's move both of them above our generated video. Let's rename one of them to subject and the other one to poles since we'll be masking them separately. Let's start with our subject layer and make sure you're in the layer tab as well. Then go to the roto brush tool and start drawing on your subject. You can hold alt or option to get rid of the parts that aren't our subject, of course, and then hit play to track forward. Now, don't be afraid to stop and fix the roto if anytime you see that it messes up. And once you're done, you can hit the freeze button down here. So After Effects won't constantly try to recalculate the roto, you know, every time we hit play. And then we'll do the same with the pole layer. And this should be way faster because the poles are stationary. And as a completely optional extra thing, I'm gonna use the voice to voice feature to record a male voiceover. So let me record myself. And just like that, my work here is done. And just like that, my work here is done. If you have any other creative effects that you want us to recreate on this channel, be sure to leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. If you're in the mood for some more satisfying effects right now, you can watch this video right over here that we already made. That's all for this video. And as always, keep creating better video with gal. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.